Ooh, welcome back to Town Meltos. Let's see if the bustle difficulty is going to be too much for me or if I'm gonna be resuming the game and keep on reading myself through it and struggling. Oh boy. Elanis, at least you are here. The seventh moon be braced. I was able to save one of our sisters on my way here. It was a struggle. We found the death brother's lair. It is in Miss Crow Cemetery, but I think he's chasing us. Wait, he's over there. Up is to the thumbnail. I mean, that transition alone is pretty cool. Let's just take it. It doesn't... It does look that scary. Blood and sirens. Bones and not Russian conquer he Oops. You see the death breather is here. But all the codes over and under. He vanished. How can we hope to fight so many bone walkers? They are glitching all over the place. That's how I like that view though. They even got that the water graphics a little bit better here. It's blood and sinus for the death breather, but brains and shrewdness for us. We are all somewhat bad at all alone. There was that. But mark me well, if you can help us reach our towers before the sun sets, we stand a chance. Our towers, the very stones of them, will greatly expand our powers and the range of our spells. Okay. Look, there's a void stone over that hill on the right. Remember, void stones work as such a flow. That means once a void stone has been activated, it will remain active even if you go back in time. Oh boy, I'm gonna fail this furthermore. If you invoke a void spirit, it will activate all surrounding void stones at once. Keep in mind also that bone walkers become resistant to our spirit strike spell as soon as the sun sets, so we have to kill as many as but there's still daylight. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the part where I'm gonna bite the grass. Bone walkers, bone walkers. It's all bone walkers, isn't it? Is that a bone walker? Bone walkers, bone walkers. Yeah, that's the part. That's the part where I bite the grass. Oh boy. Mm. Okay, we're gonna go to the left, kill the left ones, go back, activate that thing. And then press on to the right side. There are many towers that we need to get to. Okay, yep, I'm gonna totally fail this one. Don't you worry, babe. Thanks, mom. Let's go get them first. Oh, they're all gonna die. They're all gonna die. That might have been not done bad. Well, well, well. That's gonna be a pity. Um. Got one girl dead already. That's cool. That's cool. Come on, give me his life. What do we have over here? Three. Nope, ain't got enough. 
There's a lot of magic here. They're all gonna be dead anyways. Pop, what did I do? Oh. One. One. Three. One. <gasps> and you're dead. Oh boy, sorry bro. Help me. Help me. Ah, oh, I'm coming. As slow as I can. Well, sorry bro. That's the part where I'm bro kinda of failed the game. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, no, not at all. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Let's go this way. Since I haven't been going this way. And not activating those trees was also something I did not do. He kills those. Nope. Okay, good. Hey girl, how are you doing? How are you doing? Let's see. Over there, she's still dead. Those dudes need someone. Take care of them. Thanks for the magic. The tree over there is doing good work. The firebender is doing a good job. So there's the last board coming my way. The keeper is dead. Well, it's just one. Right. And there's the whole army. Well, that's gonna be interesting in a second. Okay. <laughs> I basically got everything figured out, right? The only thing I need to do is save that keep on the right and go all the way back and activate the tree there that tree is gonna get activated that tree is gonna get activated nope i'm good let's just try saving her The rest should be done by the other team. Oh, there we go. Okay. Looks good. I believe so. Those hordes are coming. There we 
got a stone back there. Let's go back to the stone. I would be surprised if I actually would ace that on the first try. Where's that stone? There it is. Do I need to activate you? I do. Bring me my aura. No? Okay, then not. Oh, there it is. Somebody still alive? I don't see anybody. What? How is this possible? That's not even an evil voice. Never, my children, will be them back. Death and affliction. Lovely. Frozen rivers. Gone. And soon, no oh, living one. Next time, will be your doom. Maternal. To maternal. Oh, God. He's losing his powers. He'll retreat to Mistro Cemetery to recuperate, recuperate Alvaja Blast. We're too weak to chase him. I'm a man, consult the omens. What do you say? Bold rift, something or someone is clouding my mind. The omens are blurred, I can't quite see what's ahead. I think we should follow that death braver. I sense that something strange is going to happen in Mistro Cemetery. Something foul, but. Something we need to get to the Amaroth alive. In any case, be ready. Ready. We're fighting an unknown power. We're fighting blind. Amina, stay with. Amina, stay with me. I'll need your wits and your insights if I can stop this unknown power from raising more bow walkers and destroying more villages. I will. Ellen is another keeper. Is still alive in Avonsai. She's waiting for you to help her reach safety. It is decided. We'll head back to Avonsai while you go forth. Go and the strength of the chain be with you. We will meet again. If not in this time, in a better one, I hope. Whew. Okay, saving. Yay! Let's hurry to Misko Cemetery before the Death Breaver can summon any more Bone Walkers. I'm a man. Can I ask you a question? Once we're taken care of the Death Breaver and reach Amaroth, what will happen exactly? Four goals as planned, the Amaroth will bring us back in time. Two weeks, three weeks at most. The artifact has always been pretty unstable. But why go back in time? Isn't this the time right already doomed? Yes, now it is. You see, six days ago, the hand of the Dark Puppeteer, called the Shadow Queen, was resurrected. My crowds, crows told me it happened south of here, near the valley of the Gai. is now looking for the Amaraf to destroy it. The text is over the text, and it's kind of freaking me out on the left side, if you see that. Ah. Oof. God damn it. God damn burps in this reading game. Oh thought who war still rages up north against the dark puppeteer. She is the one that sealed this timeline's fate. She can control minds and make soldiers fight amongst themselves. The minute she came back to life, this time lost timeline was doomed. Guess she has a simp army. With the dark puppeteer coming from the north and her corrupting the souls of all the villagers of the region, we stand no chance. 
from what I've seen in the omens. She already has killed everyone in Lance's Storm. Two scuttle and ten of food. Oh boy, it's coming another bird. <laughs> Boah, what the hell is wrong with me? I already changed his voice to slightly bit more higher. Because I can't <laughs> read that much. In deep voice, the armor off will bring you back in time to Bravanta Resurrection. We just have to make sure we reach it before she finds it. But for now, we need to focus the death brave and won't be easily defeated. Okay. Oh boy, more to read. Lovely. How far am I into it? Only 15 minutes. That's not so bad. Two minutes wasted for perping. Long ago, the Dark Property invited members of the Silver Chain to a peace condo wave and then betrayed them by letting a poisoned worm dig into their ears. What? Stripping their mind of all compassion and regret for life, they became the Dark Property's principles, now known as Death Breavers, utterly unwavering in their loyalty to him. At the exact moment the Dark Property was killed during the Time Run War, they all vanished. Now, their cursed souls are once more answering the call of their master. As former members of the chain, they too can access the void, allowing them to pop in and out of existence. These desiccated hosts can raise an army by calling the dead out of the earth in a graveyard their powers increase, and they can invoke the near infinite numbers of bone walkers. So, ooh, ooh, lovely. I'll kind of take another one. No. Nope. It's too late. Aman, what's Dark wrong? Energy. Everywhere. Elemis everywhere. This miasma of the malvolent energy. Malevolent energy. Can you not sense it? I can barely breathe. I'm exhausted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry every time I open my time rift it drains some of my vital energy. I guess I will have to hibernate for a while when we're done if I'm not replenished it. Look at him. A cruise, a cross between a goat and a mouse. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a good one. Look at him. A cross between a goat and a mouse. When well, what we need is a lion. Hoshapaina, for all the powers of my mum, mum. You can fight like this. I will have to deal with the death braver myself, if anything. And I mean this with respect and affection. It will probably be easier. And if I don't have to worry about protecting you as a fight, I can't read anymore. Oh, nice, caustic banter. You're learning from me, I should fancy. Yes, a certain newfound foreign death, perhaps. The confidence of the warrior. Huh. But such a heart, just like your grandmother, Lane. Oh boy, so much reading. So much reading. Oh boy. Oh. Tell me, however, how is this strong enough to open a time rift? Who knows? Just what is waiting for us ahead? Echoes once again could prove to be useful in the upcoming fight. Oh man, it's gonna open the rift in just a little while. Okay, let's see what's gonna await me and destroy me. Trees. Leave this place now. Now, human, prepare yourself to join the Come on, summon your zombies. Show me what you got. What the hell? Four of them. I'm not dreaming this. Am I four of them? Yes, the death bearer is dividing himself in the hope of dividing your attention, but it makes each, shall I call them copies, it makes each of the copy very weak. You must shoot the chest with your spirit strike to dispel them. The copies are weak, yes, but you need to dispel them all at the same time. To it quickly, the longer you wait, the more bone walkers these copies will raise. I'm hoping that I'm opening the twelve rift drum. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna fail this. I need to shoot them all at the same time. 
which will be near impossible by the way lovely lovely Seventy seconds. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing this. Or how I'm supposed to do this. Failed again. Lovely. Ugh. That's weird. That was kind of wasted, but I'll take it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just take my time. Let's just take my time. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Let's just take my time. Just put fire breathers everywhere. Activate this tree. Activate this tree. Put him in the chest. Oh. Shoot him in the chest. One second. Shoot him in the chest. Shoot him in the chest. And hopefully shoot him in the chest in time. Come here. 19. Oh god damn it. Just go past. Mm. Sixty one seconds is a choke. <sighs> That's the part I hate about the game already. Nineteen. 
that tarn thing just takes too long to Yep, that's it just doesn't work out in time. Ah <sighs> I'm just gonna wait here and shoot him in the chest constantly and hope it that it works out timing wise, which might work out timing wise. Good job, good job, girl, good job. Just at some point I came back and it was so close that just this one was missing. Right. I'm hoping so. You go girl, you get them. That's what I mean. Ah, the other one is now. Powers, malice, and laxerations to her to ribbons. How can this be? My mana, it's all gone. This malignant energy, it is too much. He dispelled all the spirit magic around him. I'm exhausted, very almost unto death. I can't hold the rift open. You must finish this without echoes. I'm sorry, fight on. I'm and again, I save the day. You must kill all the bone walkers. He derives his powers from them. Once they are all destroyed, the death river will be within your gasp. Okay. So just back track and shoot. Mm. Is that it? You think you can defeat me? Maybe. Please. No. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't find the Q button. Ah, oh, I need a controller. Okay. New strategy. You think you can defeat me? Let's just... I gotta do that. That thing. Okay. Well... Good, good. Now we got three magic on our side. Oh. Up. Like I said, I'm a fire wizard. <laughs> oh boy, puzzles, puzzles and reading. 
Udell stands ready. He has no more source of power. He come back to raise more bone walkers as soon as his materializers absorb him. Wait a minute, are you sure about this? Amina, I'm hearing these thoughts for real. No, you must leave this place now. Do it now, or all is lost. Gimme, no! give gimme. Give Who the hell is this dwarf? Oh. That's a brain mantis. What just happened? It's a vision. Oh no, what have you done? Aman, I did what Samina told me, I absorbed the death driver. I had a vision, I think I saw her. I saw the shadow queen you told me about. Edwin was there too. She killed you, Aman. I foresaw how you die, I'm sure of it. And I think I was about to die just before the vision faded away. By the splintered flow, Amina, why did you tell her to absorb the death breather? His soul was cursed. Bless you, man. We are the ones risking our necks, Aman, not you. Do you see how much power we now have? I can feel our blood evolving as we speak. You went too far, Amina. You most definitely know that absorbing too much power at once can kill someone. I knew she could take it by Barra, man. Do you realize what's happening? We know how we now harness the powers of a deaf braver. I guess now it's not the time to argue. We must leave this place. Hurry back, Amina. We will deal with this event later. So I can rise the dead. Oh yeah. Shadow ability. Shadow form, left shift, what the hell, new basic attack, train life, new soul mana resolve, new spell family, oh boy, I'm getting confused already. So I can absorb, now, I, I can absorb the death, we're not quite done, it looks like the death river plate one does trick on us. A purple spirit, purple, that's new. I know it, we cannot feel the energy of the dead, just as the death river did. This is not a spirit, it's a soul. Oh, now we're the death braver. Drain life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Okay, okay, I'm gonna play some more. I'm gonna play some more. Let's see how long this episode is. 33 minutes. That's enough. No more rapping. <gasps> and I got a battle net invite. Bleah. Peace out. Actually, no. Now I need to finish this level and save afterwards. That's more important. Rup. Resume. Let's finish this level. It's gonna be a longer episode then. Yes. What is five? Oh yeah. It's a big boy. Too far. E. Oh boy. Already failed. How did I fail that? How did I fail that? I probably wasted the energy. I can't waste that energy like that. It does regen apparently. So the soul. This Anoche does not get regenerated. Yeah, like I said, no regeneration. Give me the soul, bring it to me. Hold L shift. What? You mean five, right? No. 
Hold L shift. What the hell is it? Left shift. Ah. Ah. I'm a dog. How can that be the evil? Okay. That's cool. Death trap, burning death. Okay. Okay. Fire spirit. All the way. And now give me safe and down with done. Hey, it looks cool. Oink. Maybe. I've just about reached my daily limit for new bewildering lore. <laughs> yeah, me too. Still, the real challenge lies ahead. When we reach Hawk and Tail, we finish this all to be rigorous about it. We prevent this all, all of this from ever happening at all. Uh, this tricksy verb tenses are killing me. We'll take the road through Calibur to reach Hogendale faster. Saving, finally, okay. Guess I'm playing Overwatch now. New challenge unlocked. Well, I'm done. Sorry, mate. Time for freestyle rap. Mm. 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 Hogendale. I like to drink bale and ale. I'm a murderer like Christian Bale, an American psycho. Chase you in the night, though. Damn it. Damn it.